Hey guys, what's up? Scottish Duck here once again, and here we are playing Limbo by Playdead, I think. A game by Art Jensen. Cool guy, cool guy. Okay. Yeah, I kind of wanted to just do this just for the shits and giggles, really. Um, I thought it would be quite cool to do. I do love this game a lot, and I should be good at it. I should be. Let's hope I am. So, with that said, here we go. Starting now. Okay, this is just audio syncing. Quick look in the settings. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 It's all good. Da, 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 da. Okay, starting new game. No. Oh, by the way, this is the happiest game I've ever played. It's so. It's filled with rainbows and ponies and chocolate and dead people and shit. Okay. Nothing's gonna happen until we interact with the gamepad somehow. I'm pressing A now. Walk up. This is gonna be one of those games where I don't really want to talk over it actually, because it's just so friggin' beautiful and you should be experiencing it yourself and shit, so yeah. Um, I had this game on original Xbox, and by the way, right off the bat I want to show you that if you go over at the left here, you'll get one of these eggs. And um, we're not going to find all of those, alright, I kind of wish I could, but I don't know where most of them are, I'm afraid. Um, those eggs, this is like a three hour game, and those eggs are the only real um, replay value the game has to offer, you know, finding them all. Uh, which is fine, you know, uh, for the amount of you'll pay for this game, it's quite good. And as you can also tell right off the bat, this is a fucking art game up the arse. Yes, that is like, it is one of those games, you know what I'm saying? Hold on, let me check something again, actually. Um, I had to check the sound settings there, but should be playing it anyway. Right, now the only things you can do in this game are jump and do stuff. Like in this case, we can haul this out. Um, this is a cinematic platformer, actually. Um, I haven't done much cinematic... Pl I don't think I've done any, actually. No, wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm talking about ours. I did fucking Abe's Odyssey, didn't I? And that was a terrible Let's Play. Seriously, I. that's one of my least favourite Let's Plays on the channel. I hope this one doesn't turn out like that. Well, I can't use save state, so it shouldn't I? But you never know. Let's turn up the volume, actually. Jump in the boat. Sound's supposed to come. Do I have the volume up high enough? Like, it really doesn't matter if my speakers are too loud, actually, because there's so little sound in the game that it doesn't really matter. And yeah, to get up this ledge, this is thinking... Well, not really outside the box, but this is puzzle solving right here. You're supposed to drag this boat so you can actually get up here. And there's stuff like that throughout the whole game. So yeah, the story of the game is... You're in limbo. And you're pretty much fucked. And you die all the time, and I'm pretty sure that's intentional. I mean, most cinematic platformers, dying is pretty much a, you know, a state. That's the word I'm talking about. A feature of the genre, you know. But here it kind of ties in, I think, okay. Like, um, ah, fuck it, I might as well show it off. Mm-hmm. And it goes right back to where he was. Oh, the checkpoints are extremely generous, and I kind of get this feeling that the constant deaths are kind of intentional because, you know, this is probably what it's like in Limbo. You're just here for all eternity, dying over and over again until... But in the case of the game, obviously, you figure a way around it and shit. Carcass. Right. I just figured out how he. I just realised how he do that actually, and I completely forgot. We had to let the carcass uh, 
be divulged by that bear trap so that we can get up here. Yeah, I, I beat the game a couple of times on Xbox 360 because that's where I originally bought it. Uh, this is the uh, Steam version right here. Um, I uh, I should be able, I should be okay. I'm not promising anything. I hope I'm okay. I hope I can be a good let's play. Okay, yeah, I hope I can be a good let's player in that sense. Really nice looking game though, despite the fact that it's all black and white. If I remember correctly, isn't there the use of one particular color? Or am I thinking of Mad World? I think we drag this all the way back here. Aye. Grab this. Can he swing? Yeah, he can swing. Jumpy jump jump. Jumpy jump. Okay, I think there's an egg here. Yep, there's an egg right there. I haven't actually played this game on Steam yet. Oh, fuck. Balls. Every bone in his body breaks. Right, we're gonna go back up there because we gotta push that tree anyway, but... Yeah, I've not played through the game entirely on Steam yet. And I hope it records okay, actually. As a matter of fact. Um, I'll just record for, like, um... Half an hour or an hour here. I mean, like I said, the game is only two or three hours long, so it's not going to be a long let's play anyway. Unless I get really, really stuck. Which I probably will. Or shit like this happens. Right, may as well just get the egg anyway, if it's there. I'm curious. Want the steam achievement. Yeah, the eggs are, like, really well. Okay. Altitude is attitude. Okay. The eggs really are well hidden, I think. They're all quite clever, like that one at the uh, beginning there. The achievement for getting that is, that's not right. And it's not right, it's left. It's funny, get it? Okay. Now with that log there, I think we also push the box. Nah, I don't think so actually. You know, you know when there's a long stretch of land like here, you're about to come across something awesome. Bear trap in the tree, eh? Shit. Yep! <laughs> I remember this is where you got up to in the original demo, and I was kicking myself. And I'm already stuck. Let's see, I remember what to do. We need that bear trap in the tree, but how do we get it? I, oh wait, I think I remember actually, yeah. We have to get the spider to shake the ground a wee bit, I think. Almost. One more ought to do it. Okay. 
Yeah, you can imagine what it would be like if you were caught. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I have to show it off. Because I fucking don't like spiders. Animal cruelty for the win! Yuck. Okay, it's not a spider anymore. It's only got seven legs. I'm not scared anymore. Oh, you can actually keep a hot air. Oh, oh, oof! That was close! Oh, <laughs> now he's in the half. Well, we sure scared him off. We never have to deal with them again. No, never. My god, it's actually so dark it's kind of tough to see. Oh, it's kind of steep here. Uh, that's why I'm slowing down, eh? Uh, huh? I appear to be stuck. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh god! When you're playing this for the first time! Even when I'm playing it now, it's like... Ah, ah, ah. You're not a spider, you only have five legs!